Bruce Cameron Stewart from Twitter says, what has the Tesco money been used for so far? What further plans are there for its use? Um, every um, amount that we're spending out of the Tesco money uh, is subject to board approval. Um, it's really been spent on areas such as the toilet, hot water, um, essential work in the north stand regarding um, the profiling of the steps and trying to get our capacity up again. Um, refurbishment generally throughout the stadium in regards of areas that were, were when it rained, there was water coming into to various lounges. The corporate lounges have been updated. Um, the front of house at Frogmore Road, there's significant work gone on there because again, it was there was areas of the stadium that were literally falling down, especially when we had windy weather. I mean, we, we couldn't have that. Um, there were disabled access areas that there's been a significant amount of money spent on, flood lighting, new CCTV system. So there has been quite a lot of, of the Tesco money that has been used, um, obviously in, in what it was designed for, which was for the for the renovation and, and upkeep of Fratton Park. To expand on that, there have been multiple fans across the social media that ask, are there any future long-term plans for Fratton Park? Have costings been looked into regarding redevelopments, new stands, new stadium, etc.? Recently, as you know, the Tesco deal went through. Um, the money as part of that deal has come into the club. It sits in a separate account that, um, as I say, to get access to it, it has to go via the board of directors and then subsequently via the council to, to, to say, look, this is what the money was for because rightly so, they don't want the money spent on, on players or 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 anything like that. This is specifically for redevelopment and, and the upkeep of Fratton Park. Moving forward, um, discussions have started now about what we do in the future and it's a big decision for the board. I'm sure the fans will all be involved. They're a, a key part of the process. Um, and in the next few months, there'll be things coming out where, again, like I just said, we'll be getting fans involved, led by the board, obviously, um, in in what we we do for the future because there's 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 various options you've got I suppose the biggest thing to be decided first of all is do we stay at Fratton Park mm. if we stay at Fratton Park that takes us off in one direction do we look to move away from Fratton Park that takes us off in another direction if we decide to stay at Fratton Park then do we d decide on a new stand general refurbishment if it's a new stand what stand is that going to be you know it's so there's, there's a lot it's, it's it's not as easy as um, we're going to do this, let's just do it. There's there's a lot of things behind the scene that need to be agreed and decided and tantamount forefront to, to all that will be the views of the supporters. We are promoted this season. How do you plan to keep us in League One and progress the club further? Will budgets be increased and significantly across the board? I don't... Listen, we shouldn't be banking on getting promoted in, in any year, but all I can say that the business model we've got is fully sustainable not only in league two but in league one we will always be able to supply a, a competitive budget in league one that should um, based on budget put us in the top half of the table as a minimum leanne howard on instagram uh, looking at the other side of it if we're not promoted this season what changes if any could we expect from the club from the boardroom downwards i don't know um without putting pressure on myself or other people i think it's been widely mentioned that you know the ambition our, amb um, our aim and ambition this year is to get promoted um as long as i think to to, to get promoted i'm again you know i'm not the type i won't make any excuses for this you know it's it's obviously our ambition our aim this year paul's paul said that um he's, I've, in my opinion he's been very brave saying that because uh a lot, of, a lot of managers shy away from putting pressure on themselves, but um, should we not make promotion? I think we, we need to look at where we are as a business, how has the business moved forward, has there been progressions on and off the pitch? Um, and then you, you take the positives out of that. You, if, if there's been any negatives, you learn from it, and then you move on to the following year. It's all part of the evolution of a football club. And as I said, it has only been two years since we come out of administration and stopped years and years of, of continuous decline, both on and off the pitch. Right, bit of a hot topic here. Multiple fans again on Twitter. What plans are there for Pompey Lady this season? Will they be integrated more and potentially be allowed to play home games at either Rocco or Fratton Park? Um, it's, I think it's important to understand with Pompey Ladies. At the moment, we, we do a, 
a lot of things from you know short of of giving financial um input to the club um i think he's had jim each week um they have had a game at fratton park which i believe was the first time in their history i wouldn't like to commit at this moment in time in saying they could play there every week because you know we saw last year the state of the pitch and and it's one of the things that has really gone under the radar with the pitch that we've we've tried to do so much in regards of what we do in the wider community and giving access to the pitch that a lot of other clubs you know just use it once every two weeks on a Saturday and I think we've got to desperately try and get back to that situation where we, the pitch is just for the first team no one else goes on it it becomes the preserve of the first team and then like we do traditionally get some awards near the end of the season if there's nothing to really play for then we, we open it up and try and let people use it as much as possible and at the end of the season via our commercial contracts and, and the community usage and the things that with the generally we're trying to do out in the community we open it up and there's a five to ten day period where we allow people pretty much open access to it yeah. back on facebook joanne truman on facebook says any chance of a safer up, upper south stand the stairs aren't fantastic at the best of times for those who have mobility issues let alone in winter um there has been work going on in the south stand upper um there's been some new and gangways put in because the, the rows of, of chairs was too long um, and it was breaking um, various rules and regulations. So we've actually had some new gangways put in during the summer, which I'm sure supporters will see when we come back. But if, if the person you just mentioned there would like to contact us directly, we'll have a look at maybe arranging a, a seat in area that, that might be more accessible for her. Stuart Howes, can we get a better shirt deal next year? Uh, the, listen, the shirt deal commercially for the club is, is absolutely fantastic the general feedback i've got this year i've had two complaints and we've sold literally thousands of shirts sondico have um, i've been in the shop they've had very very few complaints all complaints have been dealt with shirt price at 39.95 i believe it is 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 highly competitive with other clubs bill Heyman on facebook have there ever been any have there been any inquiries from anyone about buying the club and would the board even consider it um, to my knowledge, there's been no real serious inquiries. Um, as in any business, would the board consider it? The board would consider, I'm sure, putting it out to public opinion. Mm. Should the right person come in with the right resources, who could take the club forward? And you know, we're as a club, we're as near as you're going to get to a democracy. So I'm sure that if a substantial offer did come in and it was someone that was going to take the club forward in the right direction, I'm sure that they would obviously discuss it with the fan base. It's not something they would keep secret.